You handling it, Nick? Do you need assistance? Do you need assistance, sir? I can give it to you. Alright. Return to Crow... Nick. B-748. Initiate. Dang. Oof! Okay, Kellogg. Hmm. Or are those Impressive. moves that whenever we meet we you? We have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One okay. of these has got to tell us something. Well, what's going on? It's Johnny, and welcome back to episode number 11 of the Fallout 4 campaign. Where we last left off, we came back here, dropped a bunch of junk off, and now we have to set back our destination towards... Diamond City. Because we gotta go back there and uh, finish up this mission really quick. <clears throat> yeah, get that done. Hope things are well. If you guys are new, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends. Oh, we got things to do, man. So many things. Ooh, it's daytime now, huh? Wait. This is the Valentine Detective Agency Radio. What? What mission are we even doing? Discuss your findings with Pipe. Okay. Oh, we have so many missions, man. Side quests, all that stuff. We got so many things to do before we get to Cyberpunk that I'm just really trying to, like, just rush through it. Not only trying to rush, but, like, you know. You're busy? Well, well. Okay. I'm gonna say what? Nikki Valentine walks into my office for a change. What can I say, Piper? You, me, and hard luck all seem to run together like acid rain down an old sewer. You, uh, including your client here in that analogy? So, you two are finally letting me in on this little case of yours. What's the story? Oh, man. Uh... Let's go for the first one. We need help, Piper. This man named Kellogg kidnapped my son. But that wasn't all. He was working with the Institute. He... He gave them Sean. The Institute. Oh, boy. I've been investigating these creeps for over a year now. <laughs> the Commonwealth's boogeyman. Feared and hated by everyone. True enough. Sometimes they snatch people in the middle of the night, and sometimes they leave old synths behind to remind us that they're out there. But to this day, there's one thing nobody really knows. Where the Institute actually is. Or how to get in. Exactly. But there's one person who has to know, right? The guy who just handed them Sean. Kellogg. Huh. <laughs> Men like that would have had access in and out. Whatever you think, it doesn't matter. He's dead. Man like that would have had access. In and out. But we both know that angle isn't going to work. Because he's dead. Because he's dead. So... A murderer and a kidnapper gets his brains blown out by an avenging parent. Huh. Be a great ending if we didn't still have the biggest mystery in the <clears throat> Commonwealth to solve. He wasn't gonna talk. Even if I had a way of bringing him in alive. Gets his brains blown out. Huh. His brains. You know, we may not need the man at all. You're talking crazy here, Nick. Got a fault in the old subroutines? Look, there's a place in Good Neighbor called the Memory Den. Relive the past moments in your mind as clear as the day they happened. If anyone could get a dead brain to sing, it'll be Dr. Amari. The mind behind the memories. I hope you're right, Nick. Let's see. I guess we're gonna need a piece of Kellogg's brain. Enough gray matter to bring to Amari and find out if this is going to work. Jesus, Nick. Gross. Seriously? I know it's grisly, but what choice do we have? We got no leads. Nothing. That old Merc's brain just might have all the secrets we need to know. Hmm. Actually, I think I already have something. Kellogg had this thing attached to his head. Cybernetics, huh? We may have just won the lottery. Whether we're riding this crazy brain train or not, we can't all go running across the Commonwealth, so... Who's coming with you? <clears throat> I have to go to the memory den either way, if I'm gonna introduce you to Omari. But if you want to head there together, just say so. Uh... 
you and me, Nick. Let's get going. Let's Don't go. Don't worry. We're gonna get your boy back. Just a few more steps. While you two are out, I'm gonna do some more research. I'll be here if you need me. And by the way, at some point, you owe me an interview. I want to hear how this whole story got started. You got it, babe. <laughs> Ooh, give me bottle caps. Go ahead and loot this place, shall we? We'll get some more caps. Bottle caps. Look at this. Everything's got at least ten. What are you working on as a press? Got it. Auto cat. Oh, bobby pin. Nice. Take that. Nice. Sounds like Ellie needs to talk to us. We should head back okay. to the office next chance we get. Let's do this dang thing, son. Even good people do crazy. I don't know what happened to. Scared. City's what happened to my freaking my health bar? My health bar is gone. Like it's not there at all. Huh? I did add some more mods. I forgot to tell you guys this, but I did add more mods to blimp? the. What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Synthetic truth. Why are they here? You see uh, that big blimp? Load order. What's the Brotherhood of Steel? Right. Why are they here? All right, Nick. Let's get it. Uh, anyway, I added some more mods to the load order that adds more mods to the... Not necessarily mods, but like more things that we can build with. <clears throat> so we can start making a house at Red Rocket. I think that'd be kind of a good idea. And I'm just kind of like thinking of ideas and how I want to do it. I kind of want to put like a border around Red Rocket. I've always added borders around my settlements. Kind of like makes it like unique in its own way. So... Yeah, I think we want to do that eventually, but as of right now, I think we're going to just tackle a couple of these main missions. Let's go talk to Dr. Amari. We'll probably go ahead and go to this place. And head on over and get that done as well. We'll do a couple main missions and then we might uh, tackle a couple side quests because we have a lot of missions in our quests, uh, our quest page, so... Knocking those out will be pretty good. Especially some of those Fallout New Vegas guns. Okay, uh, we go this way. Go ahead and run it. Something out. The problem with this is gonna be, I don't know where my... freaking health is, so I don't know if... Like, when I'm gonna die and stuff, so we gotta be careful with this. Like, this could be a very big issue with us right now. Oh, there it is. Maybe I, just, maybe I had full health, so it just took it away. That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna go with that. Oh, we gotta go in there. How am I gonna get in there? Oh, man. Oh god. We'll frame him in this area. Jesus, Nick, relax, will ya? My oh, god. Okay, we gotta go. Ow. Nick, help me out. Thank you. Hey. And these friggin' raiders were sleeping or what? Okay, I can't go this way either. Kind of ridiculous, but whatevs. Uh, let's go around here. Yeah, over there it's super like framey, but over here it seems a little bit more smooth. I don't know if it's because we haven't been over there yet or what. Yeah, right here is a little bit framey as well. It might not pick it up on the on the video, but for me it's extremely laggy. Alright, good neighbor, here we go. Put your stuff off of you, coach. I'm gonna need that. Good neighbor. See what we can get up into. What's this, the 16th? We still got a lot of time yet to play this game, so we still take our time. Neighbor? 
You can't go walking around without insurance. Man, how about you shut up? Already almost 10 hours in. You wow. better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Whoa, 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 time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that experience. All right. What do you care? Go ahead and this area. Go ahead and grab these caps. There's gonna be caps there. Memory den. So you can just go there and revisit memory? That's crazy. Crazy, 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 man. Could you imagine? Well, well. How did you already get Mr. in? Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about little old me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Here for Amari, she's downstairs. Okay, so I need you to talk to Amari. Auto caps right away, jet. Alright, let's go. Dr. Amari? Yes. I take it this isn't a social call. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who can make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Here's... What I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Okay. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be. Well, we freaking looted Kalog all the different? way. There's a lot of flashes. Still, yeah. Dad, I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Hold on, looting all your shit. We are playing a Fallout game. <laughs> um. Tell me you have a way past this, Doc. Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and... Keep your fingers crossed. Okay. 
This is my least favorite side. mission this entire game. Kind of like uh, Fallout 3. So when we did Fallout 3, we played, we played uh, Memory Lane. Or Tranquility Lane, sorry. Uh, it's kind of like that, but not. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. It's like, it's like uh, Fallout 4's version of the Tranquility Lane, and Initiating I'm just not a big fan of it. Migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Ugh. Not a big fan of this at all. But we'll get out of the way and do it again, so... Why not? Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Okay. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Still crazy. That makes it official, folks. The final vote count Turn me. down the goddamn radio! Oh. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. Big this may prove disorienting at first. Frognack. Okay. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, We're Sarah. Thick. You gotta give it a chance. Look at this. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing I'm like hitting leg days in these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of... Green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need, then I can give you anything you want, and little Mary too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her, and you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got it. Whatever made me think that a guy like me should have a daughter? No, I, I never deserved her. Let's keep Not looking. for one second. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Well, this doesn't matter to me. We're getting through this as much uh, as fast as we can. Yeah. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Okay. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. Uh. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay <laughs> me. Oh, we'll pay uh. you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job is done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? 
Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Cool. Try this next one. Absolutely. Man, can imagine how cool this would be in real life. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I could see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Dang. Oof. Okay, Kellogg. Hmm. Were those moves that whenever we meet we you? We have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One okay. of these has got to tell us something. We're getting running closer. Out of rain here. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override. Here we initiated. go. Cryogenic stasis suspended. Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just find it. Pod C6. Down the hall near the end. Come on. This is the one. Here. Open it. Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Come here. Come no, here, baby. Wait. No, no. I've got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you Sean! God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. <clears throat> I found another intact memory. <clears throat> Whenever you're ready. Here's Sean. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet projects, so <clears throat> here we were. Me and the kid, like a happy little family. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Hmm. Oh, the wrong one. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing couldn't have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Okay. Kellogg. It's okay. 
One of these days Corsa. you're gonna get your head blown off just barging <clears throat> in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Names Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Here's his file. Wow. Oh, I hope it'll get copyrighted on this. Some heads are gonna roll for this. I don't know at all. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. Sorry, I gotta take this freaking radio off because I'm not gonna get copyrighted. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Crazy, dude. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Let's go. Get me the heck up out of here, coach. That wasn't as bad. I'm thinking of a different a different thing. It's like where you put the blocks down or something like that. It'll like make a bridge. I think that might have been in the, one of the, the Far Harbor DLCs or something. Slow Although I'm thinking about it okay. correctly. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. How do you feel? I feel phenomenal. I'm okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good, but I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term <clears> damage. <throat> Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? We got what we needed. The Institute uses teleportation to get in and out. Yes, their greatest <clears throat> secret has finally been revealed. But that only leads to more questions. How does it work? Where do we go next? That scientist Kellogg was supposed to track down. Virgil, we need to find him. You're right. A rogue Institute scientist could answer all kinds of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That doesn't make sense. No one goes there. Not even if they were desperate. If we need to find Virgil, then I'm going after him. If you're going to go, be prepared. You'll need some way to combat the radiation there. It's called the glowing sea. For a reason. Um. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck. And be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Removed the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Okay. Now we have to go back to the, the oh, now we have to go to the, the glowing sea <clears throat> because now we need to go find Virgil. He's upstairs. Fuck the Nick. Just looking at everything here to make sure we can't grab anything. Fifty cal in here. Okay, we can get about here. What's up, Nick? Nick. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Kellogg? Is that you? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Amari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Uh, 
Let's get going, Nick. Been one heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. Perfect. I I can handle Nick if he comes a becomes a a bad guy, I guess you could say. So I'm not really too worried about it. We have a glowing sea now though. I don't think we're gonna do that right now. I think what we'll do is um look at the data. Let's see here. Listen to Valentine's Detective Agency Radio, Shut Up Steel. Out and left field. Let's see if we can go do this one really quick. Where is this at? Okay. We'll go back. We'll do a couple side quests. Finish this episode off. I don't want, I don't really feel like going to the Blowing Sea at the moment. I don't think it's uh it's kinda like a later game no not necessarily a later game, it's just more of a I wanna wait. That's all what it comes down to. I just wanna wait it out. This looks sick as hell. Look at that. God, this game looks incredible with mods, man. Yeah, I'll never buy another another game like this on the Xbox, because like this the modding itself on PC just just a crush is incredible. It makes this game so much better. Like literally so much better. Replay value is just ridiculous already. You put mods on it, it's already just just crazy. All right. We got to go get these freaking bats and stuff. So Go ahead and do that, then we can go back and sell to him for a few hundred caps, and then we can probably sell some stuff. Questing Estate. Sweet. Okay, signed baseball. Dang it. Actually, we'll take the pack of cigarettes because we're gonna sell it. I, I also think we have that. a lot more as well um, at the house, at the Red Rocket, so... I guess technically it's not a freaking house yet, but it will be eventually. Sign Catcher's Mint. Door combat, shotgun shell. God, there's just so much stuff I gotta pick up for junk wise. Okay, yeah, one more thing. Jeez. You ain't nothing to me, baby. Here we go. We gotta get on top of this somehow. What's that? Gotta go from the top. Looks yeah, like. Come on in. Come in here. You're gonna get. You're gonna get hit. A shot. You handling it, Nick? Do you need assistance? Do you need assistance, sir? I can give it to you. All right. Turn to Crow Nick. Okay, I think you got. I think you figured it out. All right, let's go ahead and transfer a bunch of this nonsense. Okay, now we can go back talk to this guy from Diamond City. Sell him stuff. That was pretty easy. From what I remembered, you had to go somewhere, and they were like in cases and stuff. But I guess. It changes or something? I'm not sure. Unless it's just part of a mod that I got and it changed this mission totally. Which could be. Not really for sure. But we'll be alright. We'll take it. Easy, what, 600 caps right here? Oh, we gotta wait. I'm not sure what time it is. We gotta wait till 9. Okay, so a few hours. 
a few hours and then they'll be here. I sh no, give me up. Sandstorm. Got those baseball relics I asked for? Sure do. Got them all right here. I like your gumption. Let me take a look. This baseball. It's the real deal. 300? You'd sign one of these and give it to the children of anyone you killed on the field. Look at that card. See those numbers on the back? Tracks the count of enemies beaten to death by the player. Check out the leather on that mitt. Ah, really good players use them to catch bullets. True fact there. That's everything on the list. <laughs> Thank you. Far as I'm concerned, you're now a part of baseball collector history. Let's go. Oh, an easy 900 cap, let me tell you. Okay, cool. Got one mission down. Um, we could go talk to, I guess, to the Freedom. If I want to fight the Institute, I've been told I should find the railroad. The only clue I have is follow the Freedom Trail. The, tur the tourist trail starts at Boston Common. Okay, and that was right here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to cut here. Uh, I'm gonna have to find it because I remember if I can remember right. I think it they like they all intertwine and do a bunch of dumb shit. So yeah, I'm gonna have to cut until we find. It. I'm not sure how else is gonna go. Oh man, it's freaking nasty up through here. Porn letter. Poor guy. Alright, it is... We, need to, we gotta wait. Is there like a seat somewhere so we can get out of this rain? These rads are freaking nuts. Can we go inside somewhere? Let's see if I can go up, maybe. Nope. God, this is nuts. I can't see nothing. Five rads. Combat zone. Let's just go in here for a little bit. I guess it's a part of a mission as well. Hmm. Rule breakers. What? No begging, no loitering. I'm in all right now. And that concludes this round. Kate is. What the? He ain't supposed shit, to be in here. Shit. Rip him to shreds. Oh, they all want to kill me now. Oh, grenade. Hey Nick, can you handle it? I'm I'm gonna lock this little box first. Nice. Yeah, we got so much shit. Okay, we really gotta freaking transfer some stuff because this is. I should have sold stuff while I was there. Yeah, I should have sold stuff. Dang. That's two way right there. Alright, I guess we can always just go back. Not that big of a deal. Alright. Just kill these guys. Who's shooting me? Fuck out again. Go ahead. Ow. Not dead yet? Really? Uh-oh. Oh, I thought that was going to be a little bit easier, but I guess not. 
said they'd look better that way. I'll be doing the world a service. Caravan shotgun. Stuck. There you are. You're in for it now. <laughs> are you not? Oh, you're a freaking. My fault. Okay. I think I did it. You think they're done out there? We don't want any trouble. Not anymore, at least. Oh, just peek your head off, you damn coward. To heck with that. I'm too pretty to go out like Is it over? Well, that could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. How's it going, Tommy? I guess that could have gone worse. <laughs> I don't know. Seemed quite the performance from where I was standing. Are you fucking high or something? <laughs> Why am I asking? Of course you are. Was still winning the fight, wasn't I? You're strung out and getting sloppy is what you are. Of course, I suppose you ain't got to worry about that now. Seems this one just put us out of business. I'm not sure if I should kiss you or have my... I told you to quit calling me that. I'm sorry. It just seemed like you guys might be in trouble. Trouble? Nah. But keeping those idiots entertained was what kept the lights on. Not exactly sure what we're gonna do now. To hell with them! More'll come. Just need a quick breather and I'll be ready to go. A breather? What? So you can slam more of that junk into your arm now? No, you know what? I think this was a blessing in disguise. You caught the end of that bout. What'd you think of Kate's work? She's clearly talented. See? At least someone knows skill when they see it. It ain't your fighting skills I'm concerned with. So here's my predicament. I suddenly got no audience. No audience means I got no caps coming in. And if you ain't bringing in caps, little bird, you ain't an asset. You're a liability to me and to yourself. So here's what I'm thinking. What say I let you take over her contract? She goes with you, watches your back. Look, you'd be doing me a favor while I try to get the place back in order. What do you say? Me? And him? Hmm. Let's see if we can get something out of him. Why would you want her to go with me? Yeah, Tommy. Just why the hell are you trying to get rid of me? Look, truth is, all that junk, it's been making you careless. And I don't want to be the one doing color commentary when you finally hit the floor. Alright? So just do me this favor. Both of you. Please. Uh. I'd like to know what Kate thinks. I don't want her. Don't I get a say in all this? That ain't how a contract works. Besides, you really want to stay here? No audience, no caps, no one to talk to, but yours truly. Jesus. Point taken. Atta girl. So, she's on board. Now what about you? Not interested. Hmm. Shame. I usually got a pretty good sense for matchups. How about we say you'll think about it? You change your mind, we'll be here. You'd still be game, wouldn't you, little bird? If it means not having to put up with you, he can't come back soon enough. Good. Then it's settled. If you decide you want to be paired with the best, you're welcome anytime. Maybe we'll have the place cleaned up by then. Bring in a less bloodthirsty clientele in here. The purse from the last fight. Consider it a retainer. You change your mind, you come find me. Cool. Hey, toss anything you can't hold. All right. Well, way. I didn't really want her to be honest. It wasn't. Uh, we already have Nick, so if we would have took her, then he would have went away, and I just don't want to deal with that. So we can always come back and get her later on. Not that big of a deal. <clears throat> now we know where our military circuit board is. I gotta start getting junk, too. We gotta get a lot more junk. So much more. I guess we could always go to Sanctuary and get that going as well, so... I don't know yet. 
All right, this is finally done. <clears throat> Let's see if we can get this uh, railroad thing figured out really quick. Here's the the start. I'm assuming this is where we got it to. Uh, it says follow the railroad, the track or whatever. So we'll follow this, and then uh, see where that takes us. Goes here, goes around, and it stops. State house. Is this where it? Is this where I gotta go? Four. Yeah. Uh, L. That's definitely a code. I know it says railroad. I know that's the. Uh, the thing, I just don't know if this is where I gotta go. I don't remember. Why are there so many raiders just dead? Okay. This is freaking crazy. Okay. You? Alright everybody, I guess we're gonna end it right here. I got a phone call. I also got some family that just pulled up, so we're gonna end this episode right here, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode, and then we're gonna handle the railroad. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys do the YouTube thing, like, comment, subscribe, share your friends. Plus, guys, my name is Johnny. I'll be seeing you guys in the next episode. Mm, bye!